My name is Sunil Raghavan and I am 39 years old. I have been diagnosed with Parkinson's five years back and uh, I live in Singapore with my wife and my son. In last one year, ever since I've restarted playing table tennis, I think I'm living my happiest days of my life. When I play table tennis, uh, it, my mind is so happy and I'm doing things so mindfully. I don't have a scientific background to prove how it impacts my mood and how it makes me happy, but then I, I am happy. I feel proud when people say that, you know, you are cheating and you don't have Parkinson's. Uh, that's an achievement for me, for people to say that. Uh, and, and, and I give the 100% credit to table tennis for that because, uh, because I know that I have Parkinson's, but then if it's not visible to people, then, then that, that's something that I have achieved through this game of table tennis. For me, it's a magic and I see that magic working for me. I see that magic working for my son. He has been diagnosed with a rare medical condition called as a cardiofaciocutaneous syndrome. Table tennis has been a proven science when there are there has been many studies done that, that it affects your uh, uh, brain neurotransmitters uh, in, in a positive way. When I play with him, I, I could see see that he is. I could see him smiling, and and I could see him never giving up. And you know, he's ready to play for four hours, five hours. You know, you you just make him play, and he's gonna hit the ball consistently for hours and hours. Parkinson's is one condition where it is very critical and very important to have a strong support system. When you have a strong support system from family, friends, community, society, I think you feel empowered and you feel you don't feel disabled. We never ask ourselves that what are we going to do to impact the community, at least the people living around us, and you know, change their life. After I got diagnosed with Parkinson's and I got uh, involved in a lot of uh, other charity of uh, fundraising programs, my motive for life changed. I find it joy in giving back more than, you know, uh, making something for, for, for yourself. I am going to conduct a similar tournament in, in Singapore for Parkinson's uh, and uh, initially I thought I won't come and I just heard about this so I called up Nenad and I, I inquired up, about him. I, I planned to speak to him for 5 or 10 minutes but the conversation went for over an hour and, and I got so much carried away that I, I decided that I must come uh, no matter how expensive it is but, but, but I decided that I must come and then I must see the people here because the impact that this tournament is going to bring, the visibility this tournament is going to bring for the Parkinson's community uh, will be, will be of, uh, of a huge uh, uh, prospect. So, so there's a lot of things for me to learn from seeing people. There's a lot of things that I can share what works for me. I have always been a strong believer that anyone who comes to play, even if they are traveling uh, 10 meters to come and play table tennis, uh, you have to respect them as an individual. And here the story is people have traveled miles and you know oceans across to, to come and play for a cause. So uh, if I see my, I'm taking away the game 7-0 or 8-0, I, I deliberately give away one point. For me, I think uh, humanity is, is always above the winning, winning thing and you are a winner if you are a human being first. How was your day? My day was fantastic. I played three matches and I won two and I lost one. But I also played... Uh, 100 matches. <laughs> you played 100 matches.